the Remington 783 launched in 2013 I believe was sort of Remington's entry into the budget rifle market this particular one is chambered in 308 Winchester and I've wanted a 308 for a while so I figured this was a really good deal I picked this up for about 329 at Sportsman's Warehouse and it also comes with a 3 to 9 power scope this rifle has a pretty nice recoil reducing pad and it also has an adjustable trigger with a safety built into the trigger. It also has a free floating barrel to supposedly improve accuracy. This rifle has a 22 inch barrel and a four round detachable box magazine. Four rounds of 308. This is the safety right here. That's on safe, that's on fire. To take the bolt out, you just push this down right here, and then it slides right out. The bolt on this actually seems a lot smaller than on my Mauser rifles, which is what I'm used to. Another pretty cool feature of this rifle is right here on the back of the bolt, it tells you if the bolt is cocked or not. If this thing is sticking out like that, that means it's cocked. When it's not sticking out, it's not cocked. And I have read a few negative reviews about the scope on this rifle, that it's loose or that it moves after just a few shots. And I have not fired this weapon yet. I just took it out of the box. So let's put a few rounds through her and see what she can do. I've brought out several different types of ammo that we're gonna run through this rifle today. And it should be noted that 762 NATO, you can fire out of a 308 chambered rifle, but you should not fire 308 out of just a 762 chambered rifle. And it's the opposite with 556 and 223. You can fire 223 out of a 556, but you should not fire 556 from a 223. So first up, we're just gonna shoot into a paper target at 25 yards to see the various points of impact with these different types of ammunition. And we'll start with the Winchester 150 grain power point. And by the way, the scope is set to three power. And here's our three round results at just 25 yards. My point of aim was right here on the black circle and our three shots hit way up here and to the right. So roughly four inches high and roughly one and three quarter inches to the right. And our hits are nearly right on top of each other and there's no deviation from left to right. But that third shot hit slightly lower than the first two. So I'd say we got just over a half inch at 25 yards. And next we'll try the Remington. 180 grain core locked. And we had just about the same results with the 180 grain core locked. About four inches high and one and three quarter inches to the right again. And our shots were just about right where the 150 grain power point was. And it looks like our group might be slightly smaller this time at 0.46 inches by 3.93 inches. And next we're gonna try the Norma 308 match, which used the 160 grain Sierra Match King bullet. And you guys might have noticed I am not adjusting the scope just yet. And that's because I just want to see the different points of aim or impact with this rifle with those different types of ammo. So if I shot the first group and then adjusted it, we wouldn't be able to see the difference in the point of impact. Mm 
nice, we got a better group that time. And it also was slightly less to the right. So only about one inch right rather than one and three quarter inches, but still four inches high. Looks like we had just about a third of an inch. Now we're gonna use some 762. This one is the HSM 130 grain hollow point. I'm actually not sure if this is 308 or 762 because it says both, but let's see what they do. Oh wow, looks like we got another really tight group. As usual, about four inches high and an inch and a half or so to the right. And this time it looks like we had roughly 0.35 inches or so of a group and maybe a little less from side to side, about 2.7 inches or so. I mean 0.27. Okay, and there's just one last type of ammo I'm gonna test, which will be these Agia or Agilla 150 grain FMJ. And these ones clearly are 762 and not 308. That first shot hit way over here, and then the second two here and here. So the second two weren't too bad. Maybe that was shooter error. We got roughly one and a quarter inch of spread from side to side, and from top to bottom, nearly a half inch. Okay, so that's it for my 25 yard point of impact testing with this rifle. I definitely got the tightest groups with the Norma 168 grain Match King, and the HSM 130 grain hollow point. Okay, so now we're just gonna have some fun and shoot some water jugs with the Winchester 150 grain power point. Well that really sucked, somehow my main camera wasn't recording for the first three jugs, so I set up three more and once again my main camera didn't pick it up. So it's been a few days, I'm going to try that one more time. I set up a couple more jugs and we're going to hit them with the same Winchester 150 grain soft points. Wow, pretty effective. I got one last thing I want to do. This should be pretty fun. Let's see what happens. Look where it went. Hit the tractor. By the tractor? It hit the tractor. <laughs> okay, that was a little different than I expected. guys and I'm gonna wrap it up right here that was pretty disappointing with the water jugs the first three I somehow forgot to push record on my main camera 
That's why I set up three more so I could do it again because I really wanted to see those splashes from back here to see the whole big thing and also in the impact camera which was closer. But somehow the second attempt I forgot to push record on the main camera again. I don't know. So that was really upsetting. But overall I would say this is an excellent rifle for the price. We were only shooting to 25 yards and I still need to sight in the scope. But I'd say we got some pretty decent groups from just what they call a budget rifle. And also the negative reviews on the scope, I did not experience any of that. I fired more than 20 rounds today and the scope seemed to be still exactly where it was with the first round. So like I said, overall, an excellent rifle for the price. I don't think you could really beat it. So if you guys are trying to pick up a 308, a 300 Win Mag, a 223, or whatever other calibers they come in, but you don't want to break the bank, I would highly recommend the Remington 783. I'm really happy with this purchase and I'll be making tons of more videos with this rifle soon. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure to check out my Facebook page. I post short little shooting clips that you guys might enjoy. But anyways, that's all for now. And as always, thanks for watching.